This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2009. James Spann here in the weather office. And man, Christmas Day is getting close. Boy, this is this weird shirt where the camera just kind of goes crazy. Now, let's go right to some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network this morning. I think I got this from the Apple Store. Can't even read what it says down there. Uh, that's the uh, Montevallo Skycam on the campus of the University of Montevallo. It's a, a fair and cold morning. Readings are right around freezing in most spots. That's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam from the King Building up in Walker County. And the Hugh Thomas Bridge in Tuscaloosa. Note that little ba a fog bank over the Black Warrior River. Uh, there could be a little freezing fog in spots, but the biggest problem with that is uh, north of the state. Well, there you go. New storm in the, as the uh, El Nino storm machine continues to crank out the hits. And this one will be kind of an outlier. Instead of being a classic golf storm, this one's going to be farther north. It's going to uh, take away any chance of a white Christmas here. But uh, don't worry, there are more to come where this comes from that will be more typical. Here's a look at our numbers this morning. Cold Spot, Gadsden, and Haleyville with 28. Birmingham just above freezing at 34. We'll warm up nicely today. We'll be up there uh, at 60 in many areas. West Alabama will probably see low 60s. It's going to feel good. Oh, boy, there's your pre-Christmas snowstorm there. What a whopper. Winter storm watches up all the way from the plains of Colorado and the Texas panhandle to the Canadian border, uh, North Dakota and Minnesota. And some of the cities that are going to be hammered out there would include uh, Omaha, uh, Des Moines, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And what, what you got north of Alabama, that's freezing fog problems. Uh, northeast Mississippi and points north, that's where uh, temperatures are below freezing and there's fog, and that's making for some bridge icing. That is a temporary problem. All right, we'll be in the warm sector of this thing. Let's look at the convective outlooks. This is today just very low-end probabilities over eastern Texas. That does not warrant a slight risk. Tomorrow, the slight risk is well to the west. Uh, eastern Texas, east Oklahoma, much of Louisiana, Western Arkansas, and on day three, this is Thursday, Christmas Eve, a slight risk over far southwest Alabama, basically Mobile, Baldwin, and Washington counties, and that's it. The extreme south Mississippi and southeast Louisiana, uh, you can see there are low-end probabilities all the way up to Memphis and Muscle Shoals, but the problem is instability. There's just no surface-based instability Thursday night. So hopefully that will prevent a big severe weather problem. What about the snow? This is tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Uh, big snows up north across the high plains. And Christmas Eve, December 24th, looking for a white Christmas. There you go. And again, you can see maybe Omaha, Nebraska, and Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Those are your picks and that, of course, is all north and west of the big surface low. And, again, that's very anomalous for this pattern. You know, a week ago, we, you see that set up and you think, by golly, this might be our best chance. And I still say it's the best pattern for a white Christmas I've seen here in 31 years because you've got a strongly negative Arctic oscillation and an El Nino cranking out the storms. Uh, that combination is uh, going nowhere, by the way. So next week and the week after, there will be more chances. And the QPF chart. Our precipitation for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, about uh, one inch here. Heaviest precipitation west and northwest of the state. Look at modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run at noon today. There's your new storm out west down below. Nice day here. We'll be up there close to 60. Pretty decent amount of sunshine. Tomorrow, we stay dry, we think, although clouds will likely increase. Rain breaks out to the west with the warm air advection pattern. Uh, a lot of rain out there. Uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas. We'll mention a slight chance of a shower late tomorrow, but it will be mainly on the western side of the state. And what's that thing down there above Cuba? Could we have a Christmas tropical storm? You know, I checked the SSTs down there. By golly, it's supportive of a little tropical system. So uh, how about that? A little tropical system for Nassau maybe uh, at Christmas time. Uh, Thursday, there's your big trough. Down below that, the surface low on this run is near Little Rock, trending a little farther south. And uh, again, obviously with a setup like that, you'd be concerned about severe weather if we have instability, but we really don't. We'll go to Thursday night at midnight. The surface low moves due north uh, up there into uh, the Iowa-Missouri border. And the uh, band of thunderstorms is uh, blowing through here. That's midnight Thursday night. 
will peak at the uh, surface-based instability, and again, there is none. That's uh, 6 o'clock Thursday, and you have to go down to uh, Mobile Bay to find any. But, of course, we all know the helicity is going to be sky high. So it's your typical uh, high helicity, low cape kind of deal, but the cape is just so low that we don't think we'll have a major problem. But you know, when it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. And then Christmas Day, uh, ooh, look at the secondary low developing. You know, we've thrown out this idea a good bit, and that's not surprising, uh, over uh, South Carolina. Well, just watch that. Sometimes that can, uh, if that thing becomes dominant and deepens quicker than you think, that can bring some surprises to the table. But for now, we'll just say cloudy and colder Christmas Day with temperatures falling. We'll probably start out around 50, wind up around 40 by afternoon. And then uh, Saturday, after the day after Christmas, just cold and dry and probably mostly cloudy. And Sunday, look at the energy coming through the trough. And the cold air deepens. We might not uh, get out of the 30s on Sunday. Clouds, cold, blustery, raw. Maybe a flurry or two, but uh, again, the moisture awfully limited there. All right, let's look at next week now. This is uh, Monday of next week as we kick off the week between Christmas and New Year's. That'll be dry and cool. Tuesday, uh uh-huh, here comes your new storm. And this one's going to be what you'd expect in this pattern. Wednesday of next week, December 30th. Shortwave rotating right through here. The surface low is near Mariana, Florida. And if this is right, and understand this is voodoo, let's all say it together, no forecast. We're looking at model output. It would be a whopper of a snow for Memphis, wouldn't it? In Oxford, Mississippi, and Tupelo. And then ultimately, uh, as that thing rolls northeast, the snow would change over here. And on uh, New Year's Eve, the 31st, it's on by. But again, you know, if we miss it that time, there will be others. In fact, let's look at New Year's weekend, January 2nd. Another big trough, another storm roaring out of the Gulf. This one a bit farther north. Of course, no way of knowing uh, how this will develop, but the idea is there. And if that's not enough, how about another one? January the 6th, next trough, next storm coming out of the Gulf. So uh, after this really anomalous pre-Christmas storm that's taken that farther track north, the next three are showing up in your classic El Nino look out of the Gulf of Mexico. So looks like no dull moments in the weather office here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. The uh, next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch this. Boy, this is weird looking, isn't it? Just the colors are changing. It doesn't know what to do with this. Uh, The next video here by 3.30 today. The news at 5, 6, and 10, ABC 3340 in Birmingham. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.